How you doing? We're uh, looking at Street and Smith publication, Do and Dare. There are 19 of them. They're from uh, 1900. Oh, this is early. This might be 1899. Let's check. 1900, March 10th. Uh, this is number four. It's got a paper boy cut. It's got a pencil mark here and there. Other than that, covers in really good shape. Spine, of course, is good. A little rust on the staple there. Fold over here in the back. Uncut pages. Well, some uncut pages. The last couple are uncut. Number 12. A couple of stress tears there. Fold over down there. Small piece missing up there. Dust discoloration. Pencil mark up here. Spine is split to about there. Got a couple of tears in it, as I said. Stress tears on the spine. Pages are cream. Number 34. Got a printer's overrun up here in the top. Again, some stress. Uh, on the spine, fold over there on the edge. Pages of cream to tan. Number thirty-six. These are going to be listed on our website. Well, let's go through this. We got a small piece missing there, a small piece missing there. Fold overs here and there, down to the bottom. Back page is missing on this issue. As I was saying, these are going to be listed on our website uh, as well as the eBay site. Same name, Dime Novel Hunter. eBay is Dime Novel Hunter. The website is Dime Novel Hunter with a www in front and a dot com at the end. You can uh, text us through uh, eBay. You can go to the website, there's an email as well as a phone number to contact us. We do offer free shipping at the website. Paperboy cut up here. Printers uh, run over up there. Pages are white. And some of them are uncut. That was number 37. This is number 38. Paperboy cut. Some slight discoloration down here. Other than that, very good condition. Pages of white. Number 38. Small piece of tape there and down here. Paper boy cut. Small piece missing down there. Pages are white. Number 39. Paper boy cut. That's about it. Pages are uncut. Second number 39. Paper boy cut. Slight discoloration on the edges there. Spine is split to there. Pages are uncut. And white. Number 40. Discoloration across the top, an underrun on printing here. Pages are uncut. Well, mostly uncut. Another number 40. Piece of tape covering up a tear here, tape along the spine, paper boy cut.
manufactured back page. Pages of tan. Number 42. I think we've got several of these. One, two. Yeah, four number 42s. Person's name up here Joseph Burnett. Some discoloration, another pencil mark down here, the number two. Pages are cream to tan, spines in good condition. Number 42 again, WMB, D on the corner, paperboy cut. Spine is split. There to there. Still a t oh, no, spine is split all the way. Pages cream. Third number 42. Paper boy cut. Some discoloration. Some of the pages are uncut. Spine is split all the way. Last number 42. I think the best of all of them. Paperboy cut. Some slight discoloration there. Other than that, front cover is good. Back is good. Pages are uncut and white. Spine is good. Number 43, tape along the edge, small tear down here, small piece missing up there. Pages of tan. Number 44, Paper boy nick up there. I don't know if I'd call that a cut. Definitely intentional. Pencil mark there. Number 44. Pages are white to cream. Spine is good. Number 46. Overrun at the top. Spine is split. Got a small piece missing down there. Like I said the spine is split. Uncut pages. And lastly, number 65, which is also the last. The last issue. We decide to move the history of Do and Dare. This final issue of Do and Dare, of here and ever after this publication, will be combined with the enlarged weekly publication of Comrades. Piece missing up here, piece of tape there, piece missing down there, piece of tape there. Buffalo Bill advertisement on the back. There's the letter to the readers explaining why and how. And we've got a tear. Well, that's because it's an uncut page. And somebody tried to read it. These are going to be listed in our website as well as our eBay site, Dime Novel Hunter. The website is www.dimenovelhunter.com and we offer free shipping from the website. Have a good day.